Jazz Let's jump right in. I'm only doing about 25 games unless I prattle on all day. So yeah, I'm gonna miss some people's favorites, so feel free to mention anything I missed in the comments. Starting with cooperative games, there's a general rule of thumb here. If it says Konami on the box, chances are it can be a co-op game, and a really good one. Most notably, there's run-and-gun games like Contra 3 and Sunset Riders. These games can be pretty tough on single player, but in co-op it's easier to progress which makes it that much more fun. There's Legend of the Mystical Ninja, a really solid game with fantastic visual style and a goofy sense of humor. I did a review of this game a while back. And of course, there's Turtles in Time, the best beat-em-up of the 16-bit era. Because of its creative presentation, you just want to keep playing just to see what kind of crazy shit happens next. Seriously, when it comes to fun co-op games, these four Konami games are always the first ones I think of. Another no-brainer is the Donkey Kong Country series. All three are perfectly good, but the second game works best in my opinion because of the more wide-open level design and Dixie's ability to float. There's Super Smash TV, an arcade-style top-down run-and-gun game with tons of power-ups and weapons. Goof Troop has you moving stuff around to solve puzzles and to throw stuff at enemies. It's a surprising and cleverly designed game. Really, it might be the best Disney-related game on the Super Nintendo. I gotta mention Zombies Ate My Neighbors, probably the hardest game I'll mention in this video. Even with two players, this game is tough as hell. But that's what makes it fun, until you get to that damn spider anyway. The Pocky and Rocky games are kind of a shoot 'em up style, so there's a lot of weapons and upgrades and all that kind of stuff. This game to me is kind of like if Legend of the Mystical Ninja were a shoot 'em up. Tons of personality, a terrific art style, and great music. And then of course there's Secret of Mana and Second Setsu 3. Think of these games as beat 'em up games, but with a top down perspective, only with swords, axes, spears, tridents, whips, boomerangs, and a shitload of magic spells. It's so much fun. Just know that when you start out in Secret of Mana, it is a single player game until you find the sprite and the girl. Now I'll name some versus multiplayer games, and these are primarily in four categories, fighting, combat racing, puzzles, and sports. For fighting games, there's the obvious. There's Street Fighter 2 Turbo, or Super Street Fighter 2 if that's your preference, but I like Turbo better because of the 10 star code. That speeds the game way up, it's so insane. There's also Killer Instinct, which is a bit more complex with this moveset, plus you gotta love the announcer guy. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Fighting Edition is another great one. I did a review of that game not too long ago if you're interested. And speaking of Mechrobots, if you can afford it, Metal Warriors has a badass versus mode. It's split screen, but it's still fun. For combat racing, three games stick out. The obvious is Super Mario Kart, which holds up brilliantly today, of course. But there's also Rock and Roll Racing and Biker Mice from Mars. Both have an isometric viewpoint, so it can be tricky at first to get the hang of steering, but once you do, both games are high quality. Now if you're looking for a more straight ahead racing game, then Top Gear is your best bet. It's great arcade-like fun that conveys a clear sense of speed. I did a review of this one too. For puzzle games, Tetris Attack should be your go-to. Man, this game stresses me out, but it's a good time. Similarly, there's Bust a Move, which is the same idea, just side-by-side -side competitive uh, bubble popping. Where if you get a combo, your opponent gets more bubbles out of nowhere. Even just watching this makes me anxious. There's also the Super Bomberman games as well. There's five of them to choose from if you include the Super Famicom games, and you can't go wrong with any of them. Last, of course, there's sports games, and again, these should be obvious, NHL 94 and NBA Jam Tournament Edition. Even if you don't like hockey or basketball, these games are so much fun, especially with four people, NBA Jam especially because of all the passwords that make the game even more ridiculous. So there you go, that's 25. Okay, actually that's like 27 or so, but who's counting? What the hell, I'll even throw in a few honorable mentions. There's games like Troddlers, which is a unique puzzle platformer that I did a review of not too long ago. There's stuff like Knights of the Round and Final Fight 2, which are pure beat-em-ups. And there's stuff like Saturday Night Slam Masters and WWF Raw, the two best wrestling games on the Super Nintendo. But I want to mention the Super Nintendo 4-player Multitab. In the video description is a link to a near-complete list of games that are compatible, including the Super Famicom games. So everything from Barkley Shut Up and Jam to Battlefield Tokyo Dome is listed. Now you don't need this accessory to play the games I'm going to list in this video. Only a few of the games in this list are four-player games. It's just a cool accessory I wanted to point out. Anyway, like I said, if you think I missed any more games, leave a comment below, and thanks for watching, I really appreciate it, and have a good rest of your day.